guys, today is going to be a Shein haul and try on. Shein, S-H-E-I-N. It used to be called Shein Side, but once it's just called Shein, all of me wants to say shine. I bought all of this stuff myself. Um, I bought some of it for me. I bought some of it for Ella, who is my very almost 14 year old daughter. In a matter of days, she will be 14. I don't know what to do with myself. Or how has this happened? Um, but I'm gonna try on the stuff that I bought for me and I'll show you the stuff that I bought for her. Already, just opening the packages, I know there's some stuff that's gonna go back, but I really need her to try everything on before I decide for sure, because she might like some of the stuff that I don't. Um, but this is, is from there. Um, and almost everything that I've ordered is cropped. It's just the style of things. Um, but this, thankfully, was not as cropped as I thought it was going to be. So this is kind of just okay. Um, I'm wearing these jeans from Primark. I showed recently in a com shop with me. I really, really like these. They're like vintage. They've got like a straight leg. I'm gonna change the camera angle in a second so you can see kind of full length. Um, but I think like tucked in like this, this is okay. I like this. It's like a little V-neck, the 90s V-neck. Um, the one thing that I would say about this is it's kind of, itchy. You wouldn't think, because it is like a jersey material, but there's something about it. I'm hoping once I've washed it that'll go away, um, but there is kind of something a little bit irritating about this fabric, and it doesn't make sense at all. I don't know why, but worth mentioning. Um, but I got this in a medium, and I am a 12. This was one of the things that when I opened it, I instantly was like, absolutely not. The material, or like the colour of this wool, online it looked like it was um, just like a beige, but it is quite clearly, when you look at it up close, brown and white. I'm not into that. Now, from a distance, it kind of does look a little bit beigey, but no, also way too cropped for me. It's like more cropped than my jeans, so I wouldn't even necessarily tuck it into that because it kind of goes higher. And it's just overall too wide for my top half of my liking. This is one of the things that Ella might like. She really likes kind of cropped jumpers. Um, this is, I mean, I don't like the brown and white. Um, and it's it's too wide. I think that's probably the biggest part of it, is that I don't like that it's kind of gapy. I know that as I'm moving, you're gonna be able to kind of see up my top and I don't like that, I don't want that. That jumper was a medium, this jumper is also a medium. This was really disappointing because online it looked so nice. And I think I, I, everything I've got pretty much is medium unless I tell you otherwise. I thought I was getting kind of an oversized enough for this to be, I thought the neckline was kind of be, gonna be a little bit bigger. And I thought the whole thing was going to feel like an oversized cute jumper with this nice lacy. I feel like this V is too high for the whole style. I feel like it needs to be, this needs to be here for me. Um, and the material is like almost like a towel. It, I mean, I feel like it's showing up on camera now, the weird texture of this material. It's really strange. It's not like a normal jumper. I like this in theory and I like the colours but no, this looks teeny tiny. I mean, Milo, my seven year old son, has joked that he could share it with me, which is probably true. Uh, but I think it's supposed to be like this. It's supposed to be kind of like a, a, a small jumper. I really, really like it. This is one of the things that it is kind of cropped, but it's just low enough that I can tuck it into my jeans and I feel like it's not, it's not showing anything that I don't want it to show or even probably I would wear it like that. I think this is cute, I don't know, maybe it's just me. Obviously, it's a Christmas jumper. I know it's August. It's not really Christmas, guys. Um, and it, it, that's when I saw it and I was like, yeah, okay. And I feel like this was like four or five pounds. It was super cheap. I was absolutely gutted because when I was searching, when I was originally browsing on the website, I saw this and was like, oh my God, it's so cheap. I really need that. That is a Christmas jumper. And then when I went a couple of days later, it was sold out. And I kept refreshing and kept refreshing and it came back in my size. Um, so this is a medium as well. It is very snug. Um, but I feel like, as a 12, it fits me nicely, but I feel like it is supposed to be snug. Now we're getting to the good stuff. So I got a couple of dresses, and I think, from previous orders as well, that this is where they really come into the room. The dresses that they do are amazing, and I love this. I haven't zipped it up all the way. It zips up fine. It's just, I can't zip it back down again. So I'll move a little bit further out so you can see the whole thing. But how? Pretty is this. I mean, I don't remember exactly how much this was. I'm gonna say something in the region of 14.99. And it is gorgeous. The reason that I bought it was this whole top section here reminded me of that dress that I got from Primark that every time I wear it, someone asks me about it, it looks a bit urban outfitter-y. Um, it was black and floral and I've worn it loads. And this, 
was very similar. I wasn't expecting the skirt to be quite as full. Bear in mind as well that here where it's a little bit baggy, it isn't that big. Like when you zip it all the way up, it's like a little tighter. Um, but the skirt, I mean, this is gorgeous. And I think it's a really nice transitional kind of style as well. You could wear this into autumn. Um, you could wear it with little boots. I wore it with trainers yesterday. Um, I love it. I just, this is like the standout thing from the order for sure. I wouldn't necessarily wear these things together, but just so I have something to try it on with. Um, this cardigan, I'm really on the fence about this because I just bought a new cardigan from Primark. Like a, a neutral card, no I'm not keeping this am I? Um, and when I saw this on the website I thought, oh this is gorgeous, this is exactly the kind of autumnal cardigan that I want. The sleeves are massive. I don't understand, but I really like it in theory. I like the kind of cable, I like the colour of it is a bit different, it's a bit yellowy. Um, again really nice for the upcoming season, but I just, I don't understand it. It's again so wide um, and the sleeves aren't massive. Let me just see what size this was. I wonder if I got a large. I don't know. I don't know. But as we've been going, hopefully I've been putting things up on screen so you can actually see and I will be able to clarify what size this was. But even in a large, I've never seen a cardigan with such large sleeves. Another thing I'm kind of on the fence about is this. Milo thinks it's, every time someone talks about it, he goes, don't laugh at the coat. I think because Milo likes it, it's like a teddy bear coat. So I was looking for like um, a teddy bear coat, effectively. And I didn't want to spend a lot of money because I didn't know if it was the kind of style that I would wear. And I was thinking for winter time, I really liked my big leopard print kind of um, furry coat last year. And I wanted a black one because then it would go with more stuff. But I felt like a fur black coat is a little bit too glam for day to day. I mean, she says he wore fur leopard print coat, but it feels different. Um, so I bought this and I, I really liked the pictures. And one of the people reviewing it, this is one of the things from this particular website if you've never shopped on there before, people review and people leave pictures. So that's something that always helps, that like, guides me when I'm actually shopping on there, is the pictures of other people wearing the stuff. It's super, super useful. Um, and they seem to be like unvetted, because some people are like, this is terrible, and it goes up, no problem. Um, but I really liked the pictures of people wearing these, and one of the girls said that she bought it to go to New York in February, and she was at the top of the Rockefeller, and she said it, she wasn't cold at all. And we are going to New York in January, which is so cold! And um, that is part of the thing that I was thinking, well, maybe it'll be good for. I know it's kind of crazy. It is a big coat, and I showed it to Lee, and he was like, this is madness, but is it though? And also it's got a hood, so. I mean, how warm could I be? Imagine, imagine how warm I could be in this coat. I don't know. You tell me, by the time you see this, I won't have sent the stuff back yet, but is this too crazy? Milo did suggest that it could be a dressing gown, worst case. It's crazy warm. It's, re it's like this on the inside and the outside. The outside is white, I don't know why. That seems like a bad choice, but whatever, the inside is white. Um, and this is the only thing holding it here. There's no other fastening. So I think over a jumper and a scarf, this would be like the final layer of heat. I also can't explain to you how warm it is. I'm filming this last Sunday, as you watch this now. And it was warm, guys. I'm gonna be super sweaty by the time I finish this, but I think I'm gonna keep this. Okay, so this is the other standout for me. I think this is just the prettiest. And I feel like I'm living my Grace and Frankie Frankie dreams um, in this dress. It's so beautiful. I really do think that this is where they come into their own. This is where they excel. I'm gonna go all the way back so you can see. It is just, it's buttoned all the way down. Um, it needs an iron. But it's buttoned all the way down and it is, and it's not too long because I'm only five foot three, five foot four, depending on who measures me. Um, and I could, be, with both of these dresses, I could wear flat shoes, no problem. Um, so that is something to bear in mind if you are taller or a regular sized person, um, that you might be looking at it more to be like a midi dress. Uh, but for me, this is perfect. I love this so very much. Okay, the last thing I bought for me are leggings. I'm just wearing it underneath the dress just because it's like easier than having to get completely unchanged. I'm probably just gonna leave this on. So Ella bought these leggings too. I bought two pairs, which was probably a mistake, but I thought I don't have to make an extra order if they're great. Um, and I knew I was probably gonna have to return some stuff. So the pockets, number one, are huge. If you're into pockets and leggings, there we are. Um, they're fine, they're comfy, they're high waist, but they, 
I got a medium and maybe we could have got a small. They are long, as you can see. Um, they're fine. If you're looking for just like a black pair of leggings uh, to wear underneath stuff, then fine. But I was kind of hoping that these would be like a thicker material, kind of like a bit hold you in style leggings. They're not quite that, but they're not as bad as I expected them to be. I kind of thought, oh, these could be really, really baggy. Leggings can be very difficult anyway. Buying them like online, totally randomly with only three, fa three sizes is really, really difficult. But I don't know, I think they're kind of okay. I'll end up wearing them underneath um, jumpers and stuff in the autumn winter. And I think Ella will like hers too. Okay, so the last few things that Ella got, um, funnily enough, I was talking to someone on the comments of my Primark video today and she said uh, the 90s are back, but a few were butterfly tops, and I knew I had this in my possession. So she ordered this, <laughs> because butterfly tops are back. It is full, full 90s again in my house, although I think I'm moving more into the 70s every day. Um, she got this. This is, this is just so very, oh my God. I crack everywhere, I think I'm 100 years old. Um, and she got, leggings and she got this belt. I bought belts from um, this site before and they've been fine. So she got this belt. They are the things that she asked for and um, I think you've kind of gauged from what we were talking about what I'm sending back. This is my send back pile. This is my to keep pile. So if there's anything she wants from the send back pile, that's less things for me to send back. But I think I'm keeping the coat. Let me know. Let me, let me know what you think. Um, let me know if you enjoyed this video. I don't know whether or not I'm going to be ordering again. I'm kind of considering it because the dresses were amazing. I'm going to see how the returns process is. And then if I do order again, I'll, I'll let you know what that was like in that video. Because um, I've never returned things before. I've ordered from this website before. Can you notice that I'm trying not to say the name of the website? I've ordered from this website before. Um, and there's been a couple of things that haven't been perfect, but they weren't expensive. So I just donated them. I thought it was probably more hassle than it was worth to return. But because this is a good amount of stuff, I'm gonna return it and we'll see how it goes. I'll, I'll let you know. Let me know if you've tried to return recently because I think the returns have changed and hopefully it's easier now. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I will see you guys next time when hopefully I'm less hot and sweaty. Bye. Every time I'm going out, the same things keep happening.